Imagine losing weight faster and more effectively than ever before. Curious? Today we're going to go into the world of weight loss medications and how they might be the missing piece to your weight loss puzzle. Um, I'm going to share some tips that will maximize your results. Keep watching to learn more. Hi, I'm Dr. Carter with Modern Body Clinic and we are weight loss experts. Uh, we've helped a ton of people lose weight. What are they? Weight loss medications are simply tools that are designed to help people who've been struggling with being overweight and really have not been able to do it with diet and exercise alone. Uh, these medications are typically prescribed for people who have a BMI of 30 or 27 and a half if they have risk factors. But here's the twist. Medications alone are not a magic bullet. Keep watching to discover what else you need to do to see real results. The several different types of weight loss medications, just talking about the ones that are most common and are FDA approved, will include Phentermine, which is often paired with other medications to give a different effect. A couple other medications include Contrave and Qsemia, but also we have a newer class of medications called GLP-1. An older one is Laraglutide, it goes by the brand name Sixenda. There's also Semaglutide, which is commonly known as Wagovi or Ozempic. And the newest one that's been approved is Terzipatide, often known by Manjaro or Zepbound. Essentially, all these medications work similar in that they are going to decrease your appetite. Now, they all do it different ways, but the point is that we're going to eat less, and that is the cornerstone of weight loss, really creating a calorie deficit. How do we maximize our weight loss with medication? Well, it's going to be two main things. There's other things that will help, and we'll talk about that at the end, but certainly the diet is important. So we still need to have a calorie deficit. The medication is not magically going to melt the fat away. We want to make sure that when we have a calorie deficit, but also we want to be consuming foods that are going to serve us and avoid things that are not, particularly things that are highly processed or have a low nutrient content. Now it is true that you can lose weight without exercising, but more importantly, you are going to be able to sustain the weight loss if you do exercise. What else do we want to do to make sure that a really maximum the benefit. We want to make sure another thing that I recommend to people and that we do in our clinic is track. Several things we want to track. Obviously we want to track your weight. I will say probably not the most important but definitely the easiest thing to do is track your weight. We also want to uh, do measurements. Your shape of your body may change. You may not necessarily see the change in weight. Doing measurements particularly around the waist, shoulders, chest, hips, those areas we can also see changes and may not necessarily be on the scale. Obviously your clothes, that's something else that you can track. If you notice particularly pant size or dress size, that is something that you do well see a change in as you lose weight. Those are main things. Another thing that I often forgot is actually tracking your food. Some people just do it for a few days. You can do it for two weeks. Some people do it it definitely it is track everything but that will help when if you're having issues whether it's gaining weight or if you hit a plateau tracking your meals will be helpful and to figure out what's going on there now tracking that's one thing next thing we also want to make sure also just listen to your body whether it's side effects particularly like headache nausea listen to your body but also if you're feeling different if you're having more energy that is a good sign that you're on the right track if you're having more fatigue that may be an issue though also could be a medication side effect as well. And so we're going to take this tracking and listening and make adjustments based on that. We often will change the dose. For the medications I mentioned earlier, those are all medications that the dose is going to get adjusted and you don't necessarily need to be on the highest dose of them to see meaningful results. It depends on the individual. That is something you'll do with your provider. If you are not losing weight, but such as you hit a plateau, there is some adjustment. Obviously, we will give it some time. And but if we can pick all the data together that you're tracking, including your meals, your weight, measurements, it makes it much easier and more predictable in uh, producing a result. Have you ever wondered why so many people regain weight after losing it? It's not just about the numbers. It's about really sustainable habit. Let's dive into some must-know tips to really keep the pounds off. First thing is really the habits are going to be the thing that's going to keep the weight off. And so how do we start that? We're going to start off small. So let's say in your ideal version of yourself that you are working out for 45 minutes a day, five days a week. You don't want to necessarily start there if you're coming from zero. We want to make it much smaller, easy start. We want to make it much easier and start with something that is very doable. So it might be just, I'm going to walk for five minutes a day. 
not 45 minutes, but something that's easy to start with. We all have five minutes and you can just start there to get in the habit of doing exercise. Next thing is sleep. Sleep is vitally important. In regards to losing weight, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight if you are sleep deprived. But as far as maintaining weight, it's going to make it much easier to keep the weight off if you are not sleep deprived. Sleep deprivation is going to create cravings and increase your hunger. We might make sure we get enough sleep. In general, uh, seven to nine hours is going to be the window for the vast majority of people. Another one is stress. And so we want to be able to manage our stress effectively. Again, super important in losing weight, but chronic stress is going to really derail our weight loss efforts, but also keeping the weight off. If we don't find time to recover and give our bodies time to relax, that is going to, again, increase your appetite and cravings. And so we're going to want to eat more and gain that weight back. Exercise is vitally important for maintaining your weight. In fact, they did a study a few years ago, a Danish study, and what they did is they took three groups of people. They took people who just did diet and exercise. They took people who did a medication called liraglutide, which is a GLP-1, and they paired those people with either the medication by itself or with exercise. And the people who did liraglutide with exercise lost more weight. They maintained more muscle. They also kept off the weight more than the other two groups. Exercise is super important in maintaining your weight loss. Hydration, another thing that is sounds simple and it's definitely not sexy. Staying well hydrated will definitely help maintain your weight. It will keep your energy up and also will help with cravings. Another habit that is going to be super helpful is uh, just tracking. And this could be as simple as just, I'm going to track my weight. And this will tell you when you're going off track or not. It's almost like early morning system. As when you've gained five pounds, you know, you need to make some adjustment as opposed to never checking and just start noticing your clothes are getting tighter. And then now if you down, you've gained and now you've gained 20 pounds back. So tracking, we still want to do tracking both during the weight loss and after. And then the last thing that is super important and really is a big key is your environment. You want to make sure you structure your environment to make it easy as possible to maintain your weight loss. There's only so much willpower and discipline that we have and the environment will play to that or make it more difficult have things there that are going to serve your healthy lifestyle versus things that are going to derail it or be a problem if you know you have a problem with cookies don't have cookies in the house i don't because i know that i'm going to eat them they're going to be gone very quickly well there you have it those are the ways that you can really help maximize the weight loss but also help keep it off we want to make sure that you have a calorie deficit exercise is key the medication is really going to help with creating calorie deficit by decreasing your appetite. Exercise is going to be helpful in maintaining that weight loss. But also we want to make sure that uh, we are taking small baby steps for new habits. Uh, we're getting enough sleep, we're hydrating, and we're really creating an environment that is going to promote what we want. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Otherwise, check out the link below where we have a free mini course on how to lose weight without starving. Check out this video on weight loss.